it's that time. I'm um, going to go over some <clears throat> charts and then for um, potential setups that I'm looking for on a certain amount of coins. Now, we are getting to a point where, you know, a decision is going to be made. And I'll go over that more in detail. But um, if you guys are enjoying these videos, please um, subscribe and showing any type of support by using my referral link that I have in the description below really does help me um, and just basically getting it out you know to anyone uh, will help my content grow um, I do appreciate you guys for all the support um, without further ado let's take a gander into the market I'm a little bit sick so sorry about the the raspy voice um, so Bitcoin uh, if you guys are in the discords, you you know um, were aware that I did say we're going to 28.2k. I've been bull posting this all over Twitter. Um, I did actually get long at 19,750 for the Discord, but I did give a short trigger. Okay, so I said um, with this wedge, with this broadening wedge, if we take out the liquidity above. Uh, 27.2 to 27.8 close the candle below that was your uh, trigger to short however we took the liquidity out right came and actually did a SR flip at 26.8 and then we just burst through 20 to uh, 28.2 K right so we are at high time frame resistance um, this is a supply zone now, you know, for those that have been in the market for too long, you have seen when Bitcoin goes on a rally, right, TA is thrown out the window. It's going to burst through every single level of resistance. Um, so I expect some type of pullback here. This is very high time frame resistance. If I go on the weekly, right, it's a very, it's the strong level to overcome. Look at that weekly candle, right? Um, we have to get some type of pullback here. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but after you have a big move like this, after a multi, you know, nine multi-month breakout, you know, um, this can easily keep going. But I expect something like this to play out. So two levels you're looking at. Okay, you are looking at 26.8 um, to hold, which it did so far so that's support for now the next level of support is actually going to be this level here and that is at 25.2 ish okay it was previous resistance right um, went up that was range high came back down rejected again at range high uh, took out the liquidity, closed below, but again, we broke through resistance, but never had a proper retest. And these retests can happen, but it also could take, you know, many weeks, days, months to even have that proper retest. This could just full send here, and we just go to 32k. Now, we have FOMC coming out um, this week. Um, you know, with all the the banking issues that are going on around the world. Um, just keep an eye out on that. I, I would, I'm flat personally. I've taken profits on all my longs. Um, I am head short on a few things, but I did not call those. But looking at this, we are looking at these two levels to hold, right? So either we go back down and again, we bounce from this zone or this uh, level here, 26.8 K and go higher. Otherwise, I would love a retest at this blue line here. Again, 25.2K. That's um, a place where you want to get long. DCA at this zone here. Let's make that gray. So my setup, if we get a proper pullback, is going to be this. And I will be targeting 32K. Okay, so entry, light entry at 25.2, DCA around 24.3 ish, and then hopefully 
you know, we have good reaction at this level and then we just full send. Now I'm also, you know, like I said, I'm hedged. Um, my longs from 19,000, almost 20,000 are hedged with shorts. So, you know, if I do get stopped out here, it's not going to be much of a scratch for me. But that's going to be your long setup, okay? Again, looking at this level to hold, mark it long, close the daily above again, or go back at 25.2, DCA around 24.3-ish. Stop loss, it's a wide stop loss, right? But stop loss is going to be at 23, almost um, 460. And I would love that to hold and go higher, right? That's Bitcoin. Now for shorting, that's a little bit trickier, right? This can easily blow out this region here and go higher. But you have to have high time frame exhaustion um, for a short to be happening. You can't just set limits and then, you know, hope for the best. So on lower time frame, or I guess on higher time frames, what I'm looking for is I would like a move into like, I mean, you can set shorts from 28 point two here to you know thirty almost thirty two K but that's way too way or way too wide of a range all right so probably something like thirty K is going to be a psychological level all right um, so this resistance here thirty point what three ish thirty point three K is where maybe I would start laddering shorts from thirty three to about thirty one point five And then stop loss above this wick. Now, as I mentioned, Bitcoin can just have one ripper rally. Boom, take all the stops and then just come back down. Um, I don't know why people are bearish. Like this, this is the point where you're supposed to be a little bit more cautious, right? We're at high time frame resistance. But I don't know why people were bearish on this whole move up. If you're expecting new lows, right? I think the bottom's in. Like, I don't think we go below 15K. That was your bottom. We can come back down and do a, you know, double bottom, but lows are in. Um, so if you're waiting for new lows to get in, I'm sorry. I think you're late. Now you're going to have to wait for a pullback or wait for confirmation. Now, if Bitcoin pulls back here, alts are going to get hit hard. Okay, so um, if you are in alts, please take profit if you had a good move on them. Um, because if they get hit hard, it's going to, or if Bitcoin gets hit hard, alts are going to fall back pretty, um, harshly. So if you're focusing on shorting, I would focus on shorting alts, not Bitcoin. Also, um, USDT dominance, um, in my previous video, I mentioned once we break the trend line here, alts are, or everything is going to rip. People are going to be buying. Um, that happened. We are getting close to a support level, um, 6.45 to 6.35. We have bounced from there. We're very close. Um, resistance is now 6.97%. However, I do think it's time for a move up. Um, something like either we come down here and have a move up, get a nice pullback across the board, but if we do lose 6.35 support on USDT dominance, this is the next level of support I'm looking at. Um, this would send Bitcoin to about 30, 32K. Um, 30K. 32K is conservative. Um, so I'm looking at this level. If this level does not hold, then previous retest of all time highs for um, USDT dominance. This is where, you, so in my opinion, here, here, and here is where you want to, you know, get out of your longs or um, spot bags if you have very um, well made good profits. Okay, so if you, you know, bought around here or here let's say, you know, almost two weeks ago, and you are up um, tremendously, levels of support for USD dominance is where you want to take profit, okay? So again, 
that's going to be 6.35%, around 5.8%, and 5.28%. That's if we get to those levels. Um, you still want to take profit at levels of support, and you want to buy um, or get into crypto or position yourself for, for buys or longs at levels of resistance. And that's currently going to be 6.97%. However, you know, we, we tested this so many times, it's going to break through. So that's why I would be aiming for 7.35% as the next level to get into alts. Um, I do think we're due for a proper pullback, okay? So Sol is the first coin that I'm looking at. We came into a supply zone. Um, this was filled before. Now we have taken out liquidity above here. Right? We closed the daily below. We came back up into resistance. So if you are looking for a short for Seoul, honestly, this is a good level with your stops above this wick. And targeting support level. Okay? Um, I'm not taking the short. I'm on the sidelines um, for for Seoul. You know, I've given some alt calls on it, um, made decent profits, but this would be your short play for Seoul. Getting into a position for Seoul, I am looking at a few things, right? Um, so entry for Seoul short, sorry, would be, well, here, and then DCA around 22.56, stop around 23.04. Um, longs, there's a demand zone there. Maybe something like these stops under the support is not safe. So if you're trying to scalp this, maybe something like back into high time frame resistance. Uh, I'm weary about this one because I think if Sol gets hit hard, we go back to support levels. Um, we haven't, we've reclaimed it, but I want to see right support bounce there and then we dropped below but then we reclaimed it here so this would be a really good entry for Seoul if we can get it again and then you know we have another good demand zone here so 18 um, point two to 17 point seven levels is a really good area for Seoul if we do get a deeper pullback. But that's what I'm currently looking at. Uh, swing failure there. Um, taking liquidity, close below uh, supply zone. Again, if you've watched my videos, you would know what to do. If you've taken my course, you know what to do. Gala, I mentioned this on Twitter. If you guys aren't following me on Twitter, I do give calls there as well. Uh, not everything will go in the discords, but I mentioned if this box holds yesterday or two days ago, um, we're up for a, a move higher to the levels of red. We held the box, had a move higher, TP1 hit. Um, now, I would love a retest at this level here. Okay, so if we can get down to um, four cents four to three point eight cents that's where you want to get long um, but also if we do get a deeper pullback then this order block here is where you want to get long okay so safer measure would be it depends on how deep of a pullback we get uh, Bitcoin is bullish so keep that in mind um, this would be your deeper play targeting there but scalp play if we do get it uh, 
this could be breaking down here on lower time frames. If we do break down, you're looking for the break, retest, <coughs> excuse me, retest um, if we do reject at resistance, if we turn to resistance, that's where you'll be looking to short on lower time frame, stops would be above here, and then you're targeting this box here. And then scalp from this long from here. Stops below the box, and then you'll be targeting the top again. I don't like this risk to reward, um, so go in light here if you do. That's Gala for you. Now ETH, ETH just like Bitcoin. Um, now, although we had this, this is actually a bullish formation. Uh, where is it? So, boom, 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 boom. This should send higher. 2000 is still the um, TP for or what I'm looking for um, with with ETH, I'm looking at this to be retested. Okay. Now, a couple of scenarios here. Let's make this clean so you guys can see the levels. All right. Now for ETH. Um, on a lower time frame, we see that this area here was high time frame resistance, right? Previously, it still is resistance. We had a flip here, sure, but on the daily, we have not gone to retest that level, okay? So I would love for something like this to happen, hold, and then we go higher, okay? If we do close um, a daily above this level, retest it and close above, that would be nice and then you can have your stops down here around 1600, um, something like this. That's if it holds. Okay, and then we'll target higher. Otherwise, you are looking at previous levels of support to hold. So 1600 or 1616 lose that level, you'll look to short. Okay, lose it, stops above, um, can't put it right now, but whatever the highest local, last highest local wick is. For me to fully short ETH, um, trigger wise, now, first of all, There is an Adam and Eve here. If we do get to the top there, Adam and Eve's are very bullish, and the target for that will actually be almost 3K, which will send it into this bearish order block. Now, I, again, I think bottom's in, but you're looking for a flip of this level to get in, okay? Nothing uh, nothing um, sooner. Now, on a lower, or not lower time frame, but if we're looking at this, your trigger to short ETH would be move swift into this, right? Take out this liquidity, close below, right, on that retest, or even on the close below, you can short DCA on the retest stops above this wick, okay, but this can easily go into this supply zone as well, that is another area which I would love to short, so my triggers are this, right, if we don't get that trigger, 
short here stops go on lower time frame to, uh, to find your stops this is too wide so you have to possession yourself this would be a swing short possession uh, position yourself appropriately and then you'll target areas of support so we have our triggers right take liquidity close below market short add on retest stops above the wick you would short if 1618 is lost you would long if we are able to have a daily flip of this high time frame resistance and then you would target 2k OP um, OP was clear as day you'd long the trend until broken right now by this video is over it's going to be late but if this short break or if this breaks the trend you short the retest stops above wick okay the other um, the other time you can possibly short this is either we get to resistance here 2.91 let's make this red so we either have a low time frame triple top here okay or we have a ascending triangle now you want to long on this flip um, if we do again reject here close below you'll short with probably your stops above that wick which is about 2.97 break down short on the retest stops above here and yeah that's OP um, if you're trying to long depends on again how, how deep of a pullback we're going to get on Bitcoin but if you're trying to long then I would say 2.37 looks like a good support level right 2.38 um, next coin APT gave this in the discord as well I mentioned if it held um, sorry if it held 2.83 levels you'll have a move up to 14.26 um, that happened over the weekend um, now what we're looking for is yikes we close below this um, 2.83 level right we turn to resistance um, could be possibly a good market short with a very tight stop loss and you'll be targeting first 11.86 levels um, and then 10.23 or 27 right um, close above we have a successful retest it again I, I wouldn't trust I wouldn't shorten or long anything going into FOMC so I, I'd wait a little bit um, but if we're looking to short, I'd be looking into this OB here um, around 14.72. It's a very wide stop, right? If you're trying to stop it above here, um, so position yourself accordingly. But I should, we should expect a rejection there. Um, looking to get long would be levels of support, so 11.86, um, or we go down further, possibly have a retest. If I were to drag this further down, let's make this a little cleaner. I don't know how far we'll go, um, but maybe this OB here is a good long point. Stops below there and target bear short block.
that's um, APT, Adam, again, failed to turn resistance into support, closing below 12.36, you know, you'll target new lows. Now with Adam, it's a little tricky because to get long, you need to flip this diagonal resistance to support and we go higher okay now we do have I wouldn't call this a cup and handle because it's a weird looking this if it does break out bullish okay but we possibly could have a inverse head and shoulders Again, no need to get long until this diagonal resistance is flipped to support. Um, you get on the retest, and then you target, you know, 13.73 levels and then 15.46. Um, close below this level here, 12.36. Possibly a good short opportunity, and we'll be targeting. 11.55 levels and 10.56 levels. Okay. Now, if you get into this short, stops will probably be above this trend line here. Risk to reward, decent, but don't go in heavy because FOMC, right? Um, mana. Just follow me on Twitter for updates. Um, twice I've mentioned to get long on the retest. We had an inverse head and shoulders. Breakout, perfect retest, TP1 hit again. Uh, my stops are flat on this, but if you guys got in, great. I'm not going to go into mana again, um, but a great place to get in would be this demand zone here if you missed it. Now, if you guys are in my course, you know what to do. This would be your new setup. Okay. I'm not going into Monix. That's not a coin that I'm looking to get into, but just showing a play that those uh, that were in the Discord or on Twitter got in. Um, Link. Now, Link's a monster here. Um, Link has a multi month range. Right, that it has not broken out from. Again, I covered this in a previous video. Once this break out, uh, breaks out, it's going to be huge. Okay. Lower time frames on the daily. Your resistance is. about 7.28 okay so not looking too long until that is flipped order block so until that is flipped I'm not looking to get in um, support is support until broken right so for now 6.5 is your support Um, I would try a long there with a stop with a top stop loss. Excuse me. Probably around six point two five. You know, we'll target the take profit levels, and then other areas of resistance. So you have your triggers. Right, long on the flip or areas of support. Lower time frame, let me take a look. Okay, lose trend here, turn to resistance, you'll short. So you're looking for a trigger 
I would say probably if it breaks down, then 7.13 retest, stop above this wick, and you'll target support. Break trend, short retest. You can get in on a little bit on the breakdown, but you'll add on the retest. And then, you know, you'll long on this area of support. So those are the coins that I'm looking at. We have a bunch of potential plays. Um, if anything, it'll go on the Discord or on Twitter. So please, again, follow me. Um, any support is much appreciated. And I'll catch you guys later. Thank you.